This is the first look at Poldex, new standalone software from Polygon that lets you visually see the assets that you've got on your hard drive and then in one click, bring them into your 3D software of choice. At first glance, this might look similar to other asset managers you've used like Bridge or Cargo, but with one key distinction, Polydex works with any asset on your hard drive, not just from Polygon. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how it works and how to get it installed and running for the first time. So we created Polydex because every 3D artist I know has this problem. They've got a folder somewhere on their computer that is full of all of the textures and 3D models and HDRIs that they've been accruing over the years from multiple sources. But then when you need to find something to use it for a scene, it's a pain. You have to go digging deep into folder after folder, trying to identify which is the diffuse and what it tells you. And then bringing that into your software is a pain. Because even though I've found the asset, I now have to go to the shading tab and try to like manually import a bunch of maps all at once. And it's painful. So we created Polydex to solve this. So the first time you open Polydex, you'll be asked to log in via the browser. You don't need to have a Polygon subscription. It is free for everyone during the beta, but you do need to have a free account. Anyway, it should be one click login. And then you will see this select your folder. Now you can actually add as many folders as you want to later, but to start, it's just asking you for one. So I'm gonna start with this one called Asset Downloads. All right, so I'm gonna go full screen. And what you'll notice is that it's going through the folder and it's trying to intelligently identify files that should be together and then discard things that aren't 3D files. The notepad files, all that extra stuff, it's just kind of putting away and it's only showing you the stuff that it thinks are assets. And you can see if I click on an asset and then I pull out this side by here, you'll see what are the contents of this single asset. So you can see this is made up of eight files, a bunch of texture maps and a preview. And this is a Polygon file, but there are a bunch of other files from a bunch of other providers, Ambient CG, Polyhaven, and you can see it's uh, correctly uh, identifying what are files and what aren't. Now, one thing you will notice is that models are separated out. So you can see we've got an OBJ here, we've got an FBX, and we've got a material that applies to that, but currently those are separated. In the future, it will be combined as one and it'll be one import step, but at the moment they're separated out, but I'll show you how to import that later. And we know that 3D artists are very particular about their folder structure. So you'll be pleased to know that Polydex is not changing your files or your folder structure at all. If I go back here, you can see all my folders are still here exactly as they were. All Polydex is doing is reading that folder. And it's also not storing anything in the cloud. So you won't see anything being uploaded or downloaded. It's all completely local to what is in that folder. Okay, but let's say I've got other folders, like I've got some assets stored on a NAS drive or a Dropbox folder. I can add a new folder at the bottom there. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm now in an asset folder on my Dropbox and I'm gonna add in this separate folder here called HDRIs. So I'm going to uh, select folder and that's brought in all of those. It's also generated thumbnails for the HDRIs. And let's do another folder for fun as well. Uh, I'm gonna add in uh, some stuff that I've downloaded from the Blender Cloud. So let's add that. And there you go, it's gone through and it's tried to identify what are files to be grouped um, and what are assets. So you can see I can click on each folder. Um, when I'm clicking on the parent folder, you're viewing the contents of all of the subfolders underneath it. And then if you click at the very top in all assets, you can see everything from all of the folders you've added. And then of course, most helpful at the top is a search bar. So I can now search across all of my assets that I've been accumulating over the years and I can find um, exactly what I'm looking for. Let's do, uh, I'm looking for a specific HDRI, right? Of an auto shop, there we go. Now let's talk importing. If I move myself out of the way here, you will see in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen next to all assets synced, it says no software connected. So when it has a connection, you'll see it there, but currently it doesn't. So if I just click on no software connected, I'll get this pop-up. Now in the future, we are gonna be supporting most DCC, so 3ds Max, Cinema 4D, SketchUp for sure. Uh, for the launch of the beta, it's Blender only, but support for those other applications will be coming soon. So to install this in Blender, it's the easiest thing. All I do is on this icon here, I click and I drag, and then I Alt Tab over to Blender, release, and then I just drop, okay? And now it's saying install from disk, and I just hit okay, and that's it. Then if I hit N to bring up the properties, you should see a Polydex tab there, and that's it. 
you can see I now have access to the exact same assets that I do over here and I can do a search. Uh, I can do, uh, you know, go through the individual folders here. If I'm looking for something uh, in particular, uh, I can find it here. So let me just, uh, let's just add in a plane here and let's go to, let's go to something on fab. And yeah, I'm going to import this by hitting apply 4k and so that I can visualize it in the material preview. There we go. So you'll see that this is not just the color map. Of course, you go to the shader tab and you'll see all of those maps have been correctly imported. So it's identified the color map, the AO, the roughness, etc. If you're familiar with the polygon add-on, you'll know it's pretty similar to that. Um, and the moment uh, after you apply material as well, in the bottom left-hand corner, you've got the last action, again, where my uh, face is right here. If you uh, click that out, you can change the displacement type. You can change the mapping um, and some other options there. All right, now let's do uh, an HDRI. So I'm going to take one from Polyhaven. Let's say this one import 16 K and I have to see that in my rendered view mode. So let's go there and there we go. So you can see it's added that very easy. And now let's do a model. So I'm going to go to the fab folder and let's go, go something in here. Right. Okay. So you can see we have got individual materials identified by the material icon there. And then we have got 3d models and you can see there's a duplicate here because this one is an FBX and then this one is the material. So all you need to do at least at the start of the beta until these are grouped is you would first import your FBX. And this, by the way, is all it's using is the same import step as what Blender does. So the same uh, import operation, it's just calling that. Um, so it's be the exact same thing as if you went file and import. So I've got these settings, I'm gonna hit import. And now with that object selected, I then just go here for the material and I hit apply 1K. So I can very quickly add in a bunch of my assets like that um, across my scene, go to the next page. Um, and do that. Obviously, this would be a lot better if it was one step, but as I said, uh, we are working on that. So Polydex is a beta product, so it is a work in project uh, product. Uh, you might have some issues. Uh, for example, this scrolling issue here as it's trying to continually sync. Most issues can be resolved by simply closing it and then actually just hitting hide and then reopening it. Uh, and that can resolve some of those sync issues. You might also experience some thumbnail issues where it hasn't correctly identified and applied uh, the preview image to the stack. We're working on other fixes for that. And then some fringe cases where maps just for some unknown reason might be completely broken out um, and not included in the stack. So we are working on these fixes. Um, it is a work in progress, but we do want your feedback. So at the top of the bar, you can see it says give feedback. So we really want to know what you guys think of it. We want to make it a tool that people love and can use across all of their assets from multiple sources. Um, so please do fill it in. We really want to know what you think of it. Um, we will be reading everything, talking to people during this process. Um, so yeah, don't feel like it's just a blank form that goes off and nobody cares about it. We really do care and we can't wait to uh, hear your feedback and try and make it even better. So as I said, it is free for all during the beta. If you want to download it, please give it a try by clicking the link in the description. Thank you for watching and I hope you like Polydex.